Yo, what's up everybody? Jump in here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another Retaliation DLC video. Today I'm going to be using the Volus Engineer, which is definitely my favorite Volus compared to that fucking ADAPT! I hate that guy, but I'll get into that later. Uh, for the weapon I'm going to be using is going to be the Talon. I got piercing and extended barrel on this. There's a lot of good other guns, I'll get into that later though. Now for the build, I'm using Recon Mine, which is definitely his best power. And I like radius just so that it's just giant explosion. The scan radius is huge. It's really good for your team. It's really good for you. I like the radius. It just hits everything. Then the damage because with the damage it, do it does go up to 1400. It's not the strongest power ever but it's definitely not weak. And then the final one is going to be invasion scan. This is by far one of the best debuffs now in the game. Or the best. 25% more damage and 30% slower movement speed. That's really good. Alright, now for the proxy mine. I like Radius. This is pretty much my Turian Soldier setup. Damage taken and recharge speed just to use it and move on. It's just that simple. Now for shield boost. I like shields. Regeneration. Just because if you use this, you do get the bonus for quite a while. 12 seconds, why not? And then protection, which is actually really good. It gives you 50% less damage taken for 6 seconds. That's really freaking good so I do like that now for the Volus training I like damage and capacity and then power damage obviously for the powers because he's a lot about powers and then for fitness I like it at three because this guy is so fucking flimsy anyway and you barely benefit off the fitness but I do think it is necessary now for the equipment I got incinerate rounds three pistol wear lamp two structural economics five and power amp three Alright guys, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Alright, now for this gameplay, I'm going to be fighting against Reapers on Firebase Condor, which is by far one of my least favorite maps in the game. And Reapers are probably the easiest now, because the other ones got, all the other enemies got buffed. But I was playing Unknown Unknown, so that's the reason for this. And I know a lot of you guys out there are going to say, Oh, jumping, I want to see collectors, I want to see collectors. And yeah... I don't mind doing collectors, it's just, it's kind of annoying to me only because I personally don't really have too much trouble with collectors, but my teammates always for some reason really does, like they, they get really fucked up by the collectors, and we fail the mission quite a bit because of that, um, which is very unfortunate, just because that just tends to happen. Uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and get into this gameplay and about the Volus. And I will promise one thing, guys. I will be doing collectors uh, for my next video, which will be the Turian Infiltrator again. But it's going to be more focused on the build. But I will definitely be trying to do collectors for that one. And I will talk a lot about collectors and their weaknesses and the best ways to play against them. All that kind of good stuff. I will do that. But I'm just going to apologize for the fact that I didn't do it in this video. Like I said, it's just a little tricky. If I'm not using something like really good like that Turian Infiltrator, I feel like uh, the collectors are going to be... Well, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be a lot harder to carry my teammate. Now, let me go ahead and get into this Volus now, though. Um, all right, now the first thing you might notice is that some of you guys who don't have the Volus or have yet to see the Volus, you're probably going to be saying, wait, what the fuck? How do you have Cloak? Well, yeah, guys, he gets Cloak. His light melee is Cloak, and it is extremely useful. Um, you really want to use this light melee to Cloak a lot. Just like you would play an infiltrator. Now the difference between him and an infiltrator though is just the fact that yes, he has cloak, but it gives you no bonuses, no damage bonuses whatsoever. But you don't uncloak when you do things like shoot, for example. You can shoot and be cloaked. That's very helpful. And you really need to use this power as much as possible. The main reason is because he is so freaking flimsy. Now I know a lot of you guys out there are going to say, okay, well why don't you just go ahead and you just spam the shield boost power. Yeah, I would do that, but I just personally think it's just like the Paladin. How early on when the Paladin came out, I said the shield, I did not like it, it sucked, and I still think, I still think it does suck. The only thing I like about the shield from the Paladin is the fact that it has a good melee, because it is a good melee. But in general, the shield sucks. Now, I'm not going to say shield boost is garbage. But I will say that for the people out there who run around and you just shield boost, 
I don't really personally find that to be a very effective strategy. Now, it's great for your team. It can be good. And if you are a lesser player who feel and you feel like, well, I'm not going to be able to do much. Let me go and protect my better players on my team by using shield boost. Now, you might think that's a great idea. And it can help. But the biggest problem is that when you are just focusing on shield boosting your teammates and following your teammates around, you're really not helping. You're just not helping. It's just that simple. You're not helping because you're not shooting. Shooting and doing damage is the most important thing about this game. It really is. Like, if you can just put shots on the enemies and weaken them and get a lot of assists, that's just as good as getting a lot of kills. But when you run around and you do something like, hey, I have a paladin shield. I'm going to throw it up and then I'm going to block the dog dead. That doesn't help. And with the Volus, it's just now what I'm seeing all the time is, Hey, jump in! I'm gonna protect ya! I'm gonna protect ya! That's how he runs. That's how I at least picture him running. I gotcha! Like, that, that's not gonna help anyone. Or at least it ain't gonna help me. And it makes, it makes the game harder, I think. Just because when you score like 10,000 points, because I've seen people score like 10,000 points with Volusis, and I've talked to a couple other people, and they told me that they've been playing with randoms, and then when people play, when they play the Volus, they play them like that, and then they get like 10,000 points. It does not help that much. It, it, it's good for your team in a way, but it's just not that great for just dealing with the enemies quick. Like you're, you're extending the game. You're gonna make it like 20, 30 minutes long. Well, 28 to 30 minutes long. That's what I'm seeing now. It's like all gold games are taking a lot longer. Um, but anyway. I'm not trying to bash on the Volus though. The Volus Engineer is definitely, definitely pretty freaking good. Besides the fact that he's goofy as fuck looking and he has some really, it's his real comedy with this guy as you can tell because he's so short. Um, it's really comedy. He cannot take cover though guys and, he, and that really can screw you. Just the fact that this guy cannot take cover has screwed me multiple times. And I'll give you an example. You run behind cover thinking that, oh, I'm just going to now jump over the cover and run away from the Banshee or the boss that can grab me. No, you cannot do that, and you will die or get grabbed, and you're just like, oh, I'm stuck in the corner. Ah, fuck. And it's just that simple. That's exactly what happens all the time with the Volus. Um, so that's just that's just one of the things about him. Like He's, he's definitely cool, I guess. But I don't see him really needing to be blacklisted. Like, I think the reason why they did that, though, was because they wanted to start making characters blacklisted. And the fact that they've made the blacklisted weapons and blacklisted in general. Now they actually have made them, what it seems to me, easier to get. A lot easier to get. So I think that's one of the reasons why they decided they wanted to do that. Because that gives them an excuse to now up the chance of getting them in seven black listed guns which we all want everybody wants to max those out although you think all oh, the game would be boring once you do yeah maybe but it really just depends on the player you are some people i mean at this point this game's been lo out long enough to the point where it's just like all right kids give me the fucking weapons please i'm done like i'm almost done with this game i, I don't want to play it that much anymore so I just want the weapons and I want to go use them. I want to use those blacklisted guns at 10. It's just that simple. And I don't have, I only got like four or five of them to 10. That's it. Maybe four at the most. I really, I think it's four. So that's my argument, guys. Now, let me get on to the Volus. Now, the engineer, the number one thing he can do, if you play him like I'm playing him, I think he's really good. You can help your teammates with shield boost when you see that they need help. Like, oh, I see. I see my teammate need, you know, he's been hit with a rocket or he's been hit with a, a warp. Let me run up and help him. Or it's, it definitely comes in handy for an upload. Oh man, it comes in handy for an upload. Anytime that you are with your teammates, in, anytime you're with your teammates and you think they need your help, run up and shield boost them. And he's good at picking his teammates up. He's a great medic because you run up to him, you cloak with your light melee, you pick him up, then you shield boost to give them their shields right away. And it keeps them alive. And it helps you because you're probably going to be taking fire when you're picking them up. Now, if you can't tell, this recon mine is extremely good. Um, I wouldn't go as far as to say... See, 
it might look extremely powerful, but for gold and platinum, it's just, it's not, it's like, it's not that fantastic. Only because grenades are about the same thing. But this thing takes way longer than the grenade. Now, the couple things that it does do really well, a couple things that it does do well, it's just the fact that it has such a huge radius. It's going to really hurt the enemies. And if you can, the way that I use it is really good because the way I like to use it is I, I like the Talon, but I also think another really good weapon for him would be the Alkalite Pistol, to be honest. Uh, and maybe the only downside is that you would have to have like a piranha shotgun or something to deal with armor. You really would need it just because of the alkalite just it doesn't do that. It just does not. Um, so that would be the biggest problem with the alkalite, but that would be a good gun for him just because you could take out you can throw out your mine, take out all the shields, and then blow them all up. And that that it does like almost it does pretty much kill most enemies when they don't have a shield. So what I like to do with the Talon, though, is I like to set it up, start shooting the shielded enemies, take as much of their shields down before I detonate it, but try to get as many as you can. I've gotten some really good feeds with it. I'm talking about on gold, kill streaks, four phantoms at once, just some really good feeds. Uh, seven enemies at once, kill streaks. It's just, you can, if you can do it right, it is an extremely good power. And I love it for cryo explosions and fire explosions. It's really good. The Paladin with this guy is amazing. I'll give you an example. I was playing this Volus Engineer. I was having a nightmare of a day when I was trying to get this gameplay. I really have to admit it. Uh, just because I started trying to get the Adept uh, gameplay. I wanted to get that like I said I was. But oh man, that was a nightmare. But I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, but I was playing with this guy, my buddy DK DeMonte, aka Drew, or the Dragoon, was playing the Paladin, which has been a while since he's played it. And what we didn't know, maybe it was from the up, I think it's the update, but yeah, Cryo is so much better now. It really is. Like, Snap Freeze was so amazing. Because he would Snap Freeze all the enemies, I would set up my mine or my proxy mine, and I was detonating. The, all his cryo explosions. He got 150 cryo explosions in that game. He got the challenge done, which is 150, I believe, detonating cryo explosions. Like, or not, well, setting them up or whatever it is, whatever the stupid challenge is. But he got so many, and I got them all for him. He stayed with me just so I would give him cryo explosion, cryo explosion, cryo explosion. That's the thing about this power, though, about the recon mine slash proxy mine in general. His two powers are so good at detonating fire explosions. Because the same thing they did with the cryo, the cryo is what they did with fire. It's now, a, the, the enemies do not need to die. It used to be to get those explosions, you had to kill them with a power. Now all you have to do is just set them up, and once they're set up, and you detonate like a certain power that does enough damage, I think, something like the mine or proxy mine, which does a decent amount of damage, if you hit them with something that does good damage, you will detonate and you will fuck the enemies up because fire explosions are extremely strong and cryo explosions have huge radius. So that's the two differences between the explosions. But this guy is so good at detonating those explosions. So the fire ammo really comes in it really comes in handy. That's why the Talon is really good. Just because I'm setting and that you can do this against any faction. You set them up by just shooting them a couple times and then you detonate that mine and you get like a giant fire explosion and then you just kill everything, kill streak. It's really good. The Alkalite pistol would be pretty good at doing that as well. So that's just the thing. Now, let me go ahead and get, in, get into the Volus Adept. Alright, I hate that motherfucker. I really do, guys. I cannot stand the Volus Adept. When I was talking about him, I really didn't play him. Like, I didn't play him yet. And when I started playing him, God, I realized he's so garbage. The Volus Adept. Now, I, maybe I'm just using him wrong. I know a lot of you guys out there are going to be like, Oh, dude, he's so good. He's so good, the Volus Adept. Fuck that. He's garbage. Compared to this engineer, this engineer is pretty good. It's not the best engineer in the game, but it is pretty good. But the Volus Adept, man, whoa. That dude is just, he's flimsy. 
he 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 fucking those orbs don't do shit for real. His explosions with stasis. I know in my last video I said singularity. My bad, guys. Big time. Big time. I kept saying singularity for stasis, but stasis explosions are garbage. They just are. And stasis only really works well against Cerberus. The other factions, if they have armor, you cannot use it against them. And most factions have a lot of armor. Collectors, Reapers, and Geth have a decent amount of armor targets, which you just can't use stasis against. So, that's the, your biggest problem with that power. Um, especially for gold and stuff. And the explosions, like I said, they're just really weak. Now, the orbs, I tried a lot of different things. I was thinking, well, maybe I can just set up a lot of tech bursts and detonate it with my orbs and run around and spam shield boost. Ah, wrong. Now, you can do that. You can definitely use him as a shield booster. But that's, like I said before, it's really not that great. It's at least for a, me. Like, I don't want to do that. I can understand if you are a player that feels like you're not going to be able to keep up with certain better players and you want to run around and you just want to help them out, go for it. That's fine. But me, I don't need to do that. I, I, I want to run around and kill stuff. I'm sorry. I just do. I want to kill stuff. I don't want to be that kind of team player. I don't want to sacrifice me being able to do something like offensive-wise to just play super defensive. That's not cool. Now, for camping, yeah, that's great. If you're going to camp, I'm sure the Volus Adept is pretty decent. But this, now this... The engineer, the Vol's engineer, would be way better for camping just because he can debuff and explode. Like, and that would be really good. But for camping, these Voluses are really good with that shield boost, obviously, because you could just sit around your teammates and just keep getting their shields up and just keep keeping them alive and keep detonating your, your mines or you can keep throwing out the orbs and using stasis, whatever it is. You can do all that. But I don't camp. I don't like camping. So I don't like... The Adept, and unfortunately guys, I'm going to be very honest with you, I will not be doing a video for the Vols Adept. I cannot stand him. I cannot recommend him. I hate him. I He's the worst. I will go as far as say, the Volus Adept is the worst character in this fucking game. He really is. He's so garbage. He's so fucking bad, and I'm still waging over using him. I was so fucking frustrated when I used him. I really was. I cannot stand him. I hate him. I hope he dies. <laughs> I know, it's a little extreme, guys. But yeah, man, it's so bad. I just, I, uh, I cannot stand it. I really cannot. Now, this engineer, like I said, this guy is fun. He, he has some really good stuff going for him. The mine is a really good power. But guess what, guys? This engineer is not going to be that good. The reason why his biggest advantage, the thing that makes him good, is the mine. The mine makes him good. But there is a big problem. And that big problem is, guess what? The Drell Infiltrator, when he comes out, he will stomp on this guy. He will be a billion times better because he gets the Recon Mine. He gets this power. The biggest downside to the Recon Mine is its long recharge speed. With, as you may know, with an Infiltrator, recharge speed does not matter. It will not. And... The freaking Drell Infiltrator gets homing grenades. So he's going to be the most godly broken thing ever. You just throw out your freaking, you throw out your mine, you shoot, and then you, you go back in the cloak, you throw out your homing grenade, you detonate your mine, everything just goes fucking blown. You're just blowing up everything. He will be the, probably, and I will say this, the Drell Infiltrator will probably be the best character in this game when he comes out. He really will be. This guy is good right now, but like I said, when that Drell Infiltrator comes out, he will stop this guy. This guy will still be good for camping and be playing conservative or helping your team or whatever you're going to be trying to do. Because he does have good debuff. Because you can, of course, you can stack the, the recon mine with proxy mine. You can throw out the mine. I'll do it. At, I think I do it a couple times in this gameplay on Banshees. But I'll throw out the mine. I'll let it sit there, I'll wait for my recharge just so I can use proxy mine, and I shoot it, and then when he, when the Banshee gets low, low down, and when it, well, I'm losing my, my words here, but when the Banshee gets low on health or armor or whatever the fuck it is, uh, when the Banshee actually goes low, then you detonate it, and you steal the kill. That's pretty much 
the best way to play with it, to be honest. I know it's a promoting stealing kills, but yeah, that's exactly what you can do. You wait till like the final two bars of armor, you detonate that mine, and she's dead. You'll get the kill. Um, and that's just what you can do. And you just de you, but you do debuff her 45% for you and your teammates. And that's you know that's definitely really good. Um, that's definitely a good way of playing with it. But yeah, guys, so that's just that's the Volus for you. Like that's just how I feel about it, to be quite honest. I don't like the Volus that much. I like the Engineer. He's fun right now. I played I played with this guy probably like 20, 30 times. This whole day of this is day two of the DLC when I when I did all this. This whole day I played with the Volus exclusively. I played with the Adept. And then I hated that motherfucker. And then I played with the engineer and I liked him. It's just that it was just, it was very irritating. I had a really bad day. And I just feel like it's the Volus' fault. Like, I don't like him that much, to be quite honest. Um, and I gotta just be honest with you. That's like my job for Mass Effect, is just to be honest with you. I'll tell you what's good and I'll tell you what's bad. And I can tell you straight up that the Volus Adept is garbage, is bad. I would not recommend using him at all. I cannot stand him. I cannot stand him. <laughs> and no matter what you say, even if you leave a comment saying, "Well, to try it like this," I won't try it. I will never use him again. I, you know, I get that right. I have used every single character in this game, and I've used them a lot. And I've used them to the point where it's like, and I, and I can play good with every single one. I can play really good with every single character. But guess what, guys? I cannot play good. I cannot play good with that guy. He's that bad. I just, I can't do it. I just cannot. Yes, he can debuff 45%. But this guy can debuff 45%. This guy can actually kill. He can, he can kill. He can do offense. He can play defense. He's way better of a choice. This is the one you want. This is the one you want to play with. Bowls just in general, though, I just feel that they're so gimmicky. They put him in because a lot of people were just saying, I want a Volus. You know, like, what's the, what's fucking next? A Hanhar, or, or whatever, a Hanar, the Jellyfish? Come on, I do not want the Jellyfish to come in this game. I, it's a funny joke in Mass Effect with the whole, the Hanar Specter, but they do not need to be in the game. They do not. It's, it makes no fucking sense. Like, they, they, they would make no sense. They could not bring them in the game. So please, I'm just saying, like, let's be realistic here. And the only reason why this Volus is in this DLC is because of all those people who really wanted like these weird goofy characters like the Hanar and Volus like they're, they're not known to be warriors and I mean he's a fucking roly-poly look at him like I'm rolling around like a freaking roly-poly but he is pretty fun I do have to admit like at least the engineer the engineer is good guys I do recommend using them but I, I recommend using them like this do not run around and just do not, and I repeat, do not run around and do that. Oh, I'm going to spam my shield boost for my teammates. If you're camping or if your team wants to camp, go for it. And right there, that's a great example of using it like a good way. I used it to heal my teammate. When he was down, he got himself up. I used it to heal myself. And that's just how you want to use it. It's more about that. It's not, a, it's not really meant to be like a spammable power. Because you're not going to lose your shield every once, you know, every three, four seconds, unless you are just taking shots. And the way you want to play this guy is like an infiltrator. I mean, you really do. You want to cloak constantly. You always want to cloak. Always cloak with this guy. Because his cloak is godly. It's one of the best cloaks in the entire game, just because you don't uncloak. I mean, it doesn't give you the damage bonus, but it will definitely keep you alive. It really does. Um, and right there was a good example of stealing a kill from a banshee. Alright, so this is going to be the final wave. I've done pretty, I thought I did pretty good this game. I really did. But I did good in a lot of the games that I had. I just, I just did not think they were YouTube worthy. I just, I had a really nightmare of a day. And it all started with me trying to use that Volus of the Death. It put a bad taste in my mouth. It made me rage. It made me frustrated. And it made me not want to play this game ever again. <laughs> like, I hated that dude. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stand the Volus of Death. But I do like the Engineer. I like him. I can see myself using him until that Drill Infiltrator comes out. Once that Drill Infiltrator comes out, the shit will hit the fan. Nothing will ever be as good as that Drill Infiltrator. <laughs> just because everything you could ever ask for is on him. And yeah, he'll just be amazing. So that's that's my point. Like I think like I, I need to keep repeating this. Like I said, there's a lot of Helen Kellers out there. But I don't think... 
this guy is bad. I don't want you guys to just say, oh, jump and I'm disliking the video because you're hating on the Volus. I don't think he's bad. I think the Adept's bad. I just think that the Drill Infiltrator will be a lot better. But overall, though, it is fun to play as. It is gimmicky. It is it is goofy looking. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's my main points of this. Like I said, in my next gameplay, I will be bringing out Turian Ghost Infiltrator. I have a new build for him. It's really, really good. Um, really, really, really good. And it will be collectors. I will try to make sure it is on collectors right here. I'm going to get grabbed. When you get grabbed with this guy, it is really funny. Like, the Banshees cannot pick you up all the way. So, like, when she picks me up, it's like she's making me eat her pussy. I swear to God. I mean, you look at it. We wind it and look at it. It's like I'm right in her coochie. Like, I don't understand that. Like, I could see her birth canal. I literally could when I was playing that. No joke. Alright guys, like I said, that's going to be the end of the game. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video. Remember, I like the Volus Engineer. I hate the Adept, and I will not be doing an Adept gameplay. I just cannot do it. I can't do it. can't do it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. So subscribe to me for more DLC content. When the other new guys come out, I will be doing that. I will be doing some new weapons. I will be doing fun with guns with the particle rifle. I'll be doing a lot of stuff, so... Yeah, that's going to be pretty much it, but have a nice day. Alright, well hopefully you guys have stuck around long enough. Now you get to enjoy the bonus clips. I saw it, dude. Damn, son. I saw him. That was massive.